Hey guys, it's Victim Raid from the Lapco Price Tag Forum. I got the Ducky 9008 Shining uh, mechanical keyboard the other day, and some of the guys on the forum uh, wanted me to make a video about it, so that's what I'm doing now. This is a fully mechanical cherry blue keyboard with red backlight. So I'll just show you the different backlight modes. So I know some people were interested in how bright they go. So the first mode turns on the escape, WASD, spacebar, and arrow keys. Second mode is all of the keys except for the numpad. And then you do the next one and it turns on the numpad. And then the last mode cycles through the brightness settings, like it fades in and out of the highest and the lowest. And it can go pretty bright. So I'll just turn the lights off and show you the different uh, brightness settings. Okay, so this is the default, the, the lowest. And then it can go all the way up to that bright, which is pretty bright, like you can see it coming off my hand. I don't see why you'd need it to be that bright, but it is, but it can go that bright. And the caps lock, num lock, scroll lock, like all those sort of keys go blue when you use them, so you can see them. So turn the lights back on. Uh, this keyboard has a couple of macro keys up here for opening a calculator, uh, my computer, uh, your email client, and then your default web browser, which is pretty cool. You can also change like the one, two, three, four times, but I'm not sure exactly what that does. I have to look in the manual. Uh, the key, this keyboard pl can plug in with either USB or uh, PS2. I'm using the PS2 adapter so that I can get full uh, N, N, K, uh, N key rollover. So if I open up Notepad, you can basically press however many, however many buttons you like at the same time and it will register all the buttons you press. Whereas if, if you're using this keyboard with USB, then it will only register six keys, plus the modifier keys like tab, shift, windows, that sort of thing. But yeah, when you use the PS2 adapter, you can press all the keys at the same time and they will all register. Now, I'll just uh, do some typing so you can hear what it looks, like, uh, hear what it sounds like because of the ch cherry blue switches. So you just give me a second. My brother's going to hold the camera because I can't do both. So I'll just type like. Oh, whoops. So that's what it sounds like. The dinging was because I was accidentally had the recycle bin selected or something like that, but yeah. So that's just the ducky. Oh, I'll show you what comes in the box. So this is the box. And in the box, you get a, like a felt bag for uh, just carrying it around, I suppose. Instruction manual. A plastic key protector, which I use when I'm not using the keyboard to keep the dust out of it. You also get a set of red WASD keys and a key puller. Uh, I'm not using the red ones because they kind of look stupid on this keyboard with the red backlight. They just glow really, really bright, even on the lowest setting. And I'm, I know where the WASD keys are anyway, so I don't need special ones to show me where they are. So I'll just show you how the key puller works. So you just press it down and, oh, press it down and pull it up. 
and then that's the, the cherry blue with the red LED. So yeah, that's my video about the Ducky 9000H shining.